Hey YouTube, Engineer Hall here back with another video. Today, I'm like super, super duper excited to get my hands on this particular rolling stock. I got over maybe well over 700 different items, but this by far is one of my favorite items. It's even better than the recent release of these bad boys right here. Better than them. And I got more downstairs. Look, better, better than all these. I got more downstairs. Look at that. Way better. Right? So, further ado, I'm gonna take a look at this guy right here. Woohoo! Falls right in the scene, right? Anyway, I got this bad boy from one of my local uh, hobby shop. It's uh, Nicholas Smith and Trains. Um, been looking high and low for it. I saw online somebody selling for 50 bucks. I'm like, get out of here. I ain't gonna pay fat. And you gonna make me pay $10 in shipping? Nah, bro. I'm cool. I can, I can wait it out. But patience, patience, patience is very important. You get what you want. And I got what I want. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, HO scale 60 foot Gunnison box car. Take a look what we got inside. Box out the way. The newsletter, usual stuff. All right, we got the. Okay, missing parts. Just fill out your uh, limit to warranty. Fill out follow the directions for the limit to warranty, and uh, anything break or falls off, just follow the directions and stuff. All right, for the car. A little bit there. There you go. For the car. It's come out this plastic. Soft, well, hard, clear plastic. A soft plastic protect the model. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that thing. There you go, it just mm, move a few up, get you some of this live action. Look at that thing. Nice, very, very good looking car. Uh, of course, you can see the box is under the Prime Forgot. Prime for Grime uh, series. Let's get it out of the way. I'm the Prime for Grime series. So Pitch you up real quick. All right. I just zoom in a little bit there just to get some more of the detail. Alright, cool. Now I just got the reporter mods, the AOK 1671-77. This used to be a CSX uh, boxcar, the big blue. But it's AOKs now. Um start here. You got the Yep, wire grab irons. You got the um, real thin plastic uh, stirrups there on the end. Uh, you come over here, you got the door uh, stoppers here. You can see that. On right here, you have the um, door rods, the door latches and handles on both sides of the uh, both uh, doors here. Now there's the uh, plug door box car also, plug door. And also we got the stops here for the door for going off the rails here, which you can see top, the top and the bottom. Uh, then here has the, um, the grab irons and stirrup, the um, reporter marks here. The details for the um, box car uh, looks pretty good. I uh, definitely can uh, see them. It also has a uh, more modern because it has these uh, uh, reflective tape there. Swing this over to the B inside of the car. So, zoom in here. Let's get you, get you down a little bit here. All right, there we go. So, as you can see, that the uh, reporter mark there uh, looks good. Now uh, you can see everything. Got you read, the, you clearly read the sets of a uh, high car. Got your um car number there. Sorry. Yep, that's car number there. 
got your labels here. Now we come to the horizontal grab bar in here. Uh, you got your brake, your um, handbrake, your brake chain is right there. You got your end ladders, half end ladders, and you got your, let's see, got the edge metal walkway there. Mm -hmm. Then you got your cut lever, but it doesn't have the air holes, which is okay. Ain't no big deal. Swing this bad boy over to the other side. Uh, the same thing is at the other side of the car that you have your uh, separately applied uh, parts for your grab iron, stirrups, the door um, door stoppers, your door latches and uh, rungs and the door rods there. Locking, me locking mechanisms on the door. And, yep, we grab irons. Mm -hmm. Ton of them. Now let's go to the A in the car. Um, this is the same as the B, stuff for the brakes, but you got the tech board there, the horizontal uh, grab irons, your uh, end ladders, the short end ladders, cut lever, and the plastic uh, knuckle hair and stuff. All right, now let's take a look at this uh, under the car detail. Now, that thing now under the car details uh have uh everything that's supposed to be under this car you know you got these 100 uh, truck wheel and bearing here uh, with 36 inch wheels you got the um brake system control valve reservoir brake uh, piston and a uh, brake cylinder that will push against the brakes and there's uh, all under there, which you can see, which is uh, pretty pretty neat, uh, very accurate. Um, as far as like changing out the knuckles, uh, you can do that with the KDs, uh, number fives, or uh, one, was it 158s uh, or 58s, one of them, uh, however you choose. Uh, just make I take off the truck, then you gotta pull this off and then get up in there. But uh, yeah, it's a little, little pillow of work and get it changed out, but. At the end, it's be a great result because you know the plastic knuckles do break, and you don't want your you know, the train going down the helix and your knuckle breaks, and you go roof, and uh, hundreds of dollars go crashing onto the floor. This stuff ain't cheap. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you got the roof. Roof done real well. Really not much up there, but at the end of the day, I mean I'm very happy to have this um, particular piece of rolling stock. Um, this is, they have others.